What's going on everybody? Trev the Dev here back with some more Madden. Today we've got week one of the 2008 regular season. Uh, real quick, we'll go through the team standings or the my team schedule for this episode and take a look at the Patriots and then we'll jump into game number one. So team schedule. So we've got, again, we've got an early buy this year. Um, I don't always love it, but it is what it is. Uh, starting off against the defending Super Bowl champions in New England, we faced the Patriots week one. Then we're back home to face the Colts in week two in a hopefully a revenge game for us where we got embarrassed last year in the playoffs. Uh, face the Dolphins on Sunday night at home. And then week four, we're at Kansas City. Week five is our bye. Week six, we are in San Diego to face the Chargers. Week seven is our first of the cross divisional, cross conference games. Um, we play the NFC South this year. We play the Panthers at Carolina. Week eight, we're at New York to play the Jets. Week nine, we're in Baltimore. Week ten, we come back home to face the Saints after five straight road games. Week eleven, we play Kansas City. Week 12 is the last of our three-game homestand in the middle of the year. We face Denver. Week 13, we're at Tampa Bay. Week 14, we play Buffalo at home. Week 15, we play San Diego again, this time in Oakland. Week 16, we are in Denver for the last division game of the year. And then week 17, we round out with a kind of an odd matchup, a interconference game. Uh, versus Atlanta. So I think this schedule will probably be a little tougher than last year's. Uh, the NFC North and this game is quite weak. Um, so we'll uh, we'll hop over. We'll take a look at the Patriots really quick. See who they've got. Again, they are the defending Super Bowl champions. So they obviously have a great team. Tom Brady at the helm. And their interesting draft pick with a first-round quarterback. Uh, Lawrence Maroney, and they picked up Justin Fargus in free agency. Maroney's pretty good in this game. Heath Evans, good fullback. Uh, great staple of receivers. Randy Moss, of course. Dante Stallworth and Wes Welker. It's a, it's a very, very good top three. And they've even got a good fourth and fifth and even sixth. <laughs> ben Watson, a pretty good tight end. They also have a couple rookies. Uh, Watson, a good tight end. Uh, Matt Light is their left tackle, Logan Mankins their left guard, and Dan Coppin with his bright red hair is their center, Dan Connolly is their backup, uh, Stephen Neal is their right guard, and Nick, I want to say Couture is their right tackle, I'm not actually sure how you say that name, looks like they got a rookie at right tackle as well, but their right tackle easily is their worst on the line, but even then he's, uh, you know, we'd love to have him. <laughs> Patriots are a 3-4 team. They've got Ty Warren at left end. Richard Seymour at right end. Of course, he played for the Raiders a few games in real life. The all-pro nose tackle, Vince Wilfork up the middle. Roosevelt Colvin uh, coming off the left side. Teddy Bruschke and Mike Vrabel up the middle. Adelius Thomas, their right outside rush linebacker. Uh, they have really good linebackers, but not a lot of depth there. Asante Samuel and Ellis Hobbs make up a fantastic 1-2 pair at the cornerback position. They've got a couple of rookies similar to us. They've got, oh, what a fantastic name, Lloyd Lloyd. <laughs> That's the best name I think I've seen in Madden in quite some time. Lloyd Lloyd is their slot corner. Eugene Wilson, free safety with Brandon Merriweather, their first-round pick in real life, is their backup. Rodney Harrison at strong safety. Couple kickers on their roster, Mike Vanderjack and uh, the longtime kicker who's still going strong, although he's not having a great year, Stephen Koskowski. And Josh Miller is their punter. I don't remember him. Kind of inter interesting to see. They've got Goskowski and they've got Mike Vrabel, who obviously Vrabel is the coach of the Lions, and Goskowski, Goskowski is their kicker. Man, he's got a tough name to say for some reason. So, uh, again, I went over my team a little bit last time, so we're going to just not not going to do that this episode. Take a look at the matchup. Again, you know, they're the defending Super Bowl champions. They ended up beating the New Orleans Saints in a close matchup, uh, but they're they're stacked all the way around. We've got a good defense. Uh, our offense needs some improvement this year. Um, I mean, it's really tough to improve on a 15-1 season, but 
hoping that this game will be a little bit, uh, or this season will be a little more uh, kind of in line which, with where we should uh, be, uh, given our, our team ratings. We're pretty good, but uh, we're certainly not 15-1 to 1 good. We'll see, we'll see. And then, obviously, our special teams is fantastic. So, uh, we'll jump right into the first game in just a second. All right, here we go. We'll, we'll jump into the game. Uh, you may notice I'm using a, some different playbooks this year. Um, I looked at some formations. I, I liked what I saw there. Uh, got some formation subs. You know, don't have to do as many in-game substitutions. So, hopefully it works. See if we can't win the first coin toss of the year. Hey, look at that, we do. <laughs> Love to see that. Well, the teams are out on the field, proud and full throated <clears> to get this new season started with the kickoff. Well, Raiders, Janikowski is just about game. ready to kick this one okay. away. And here we go. Turned up the recording quality a little bit, so hopefully it's a little smoother. Again, I think I'm going to stick with Ty Johnson, our first round rookie uh, at the linebacker position this year. It's knocked down on the first one. Somebody please cover Randy Moss. Tough assignment, but we got to do it. Stick with our similar, you know, kind of defensive uh, philosophies we did last year. A lot of man coverage, you know, occasional blitzes and stuff. Oh, Johnson. Oh, you got to get that tackle, man. I beat him to the outside. He was just able to slip away a little bit. Not here in five wide. Go back to our old reliable Michael Huff. And they get a first down. No surprise. We're sticking in. Five wide, huh? That's a bit interesting. Let's see if we send a little bit of pressure off the edge with Cooper. I think he might be. No, he's not one of my rookies, I don't believe. I've got a couple of rookie cornerbacks, obviously, this year. Oh, I got pressure on him. Nice play by number 28. I uh, will shout him out. I do have my player numbers written down this year, so hopefully I'll be able to shout out guys a little bit better this year. 28 is Lenny Wall is our free agent signing, so nice play uh, right there. Got second and long, got the fullback on the coverage with Ty Johnson. Hey, nice play by the rush defense. Thomas Howard and Derek, Derek Burgess. Nice play, nice play. Going to double the outside receivers here, double wide. Got my uh, first or my uh, rookie. What's his uh, position? A defensive tackle out here as well, uh, Carter. Uh, yeah, I've got him rotated on a few here. Oh, good pressure, and he gets him, and that's going to be a fourth down. Nice pressure up the middle by Carter. Rookie showing he showing us why uh, we picked him up in the draft. Jason Carter, pretty good, honestly. You know, 77 overall. Um, but you know, I think I think he plays a little bit better than that, uh, to be honest. So a good first defensive series. Let's see if we can't get something going on offense. So again, this year I have uh, I just have some formation subs, so I don't have to swap out uh, running backs every now and then. I still can, but uh, I got uh, Bush in some. I got uh, even a third running back who I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. Uh, what's his name? Michael Bennett. I have him on a, a few plays. So, you know, maybe we can bounce him to the outside a few a few times here and there. Never know. Never know. 
First, we got Antoine, our first round rookie. We uh, ended up picking him towards the end of the first round. Ty Johnson was the guy we picked up early. And then Antoine ran a little to the outside. Nice route by Antoine. Oh, he's got to catch that ball. <coughs> Maybe uh, focus down him a little bit too much, as I tend to do. Whenever I'm trying to force the ball, you know, we got a, a number one option. He actually has the best catching rating on our team, so. See, they're in their psycho package. Their free safety is coming up. I'm looking for Higgins in the slot. Open on the, on, oh. Hey, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's keep out here. Has a, a good read. You know, they, they send in some pressure. Luckily, we were able to uh, hit the hot man. Hopefully, they uh, come up with something similar. Looks like they might be doubling to the outside. Look for Miller over the middle. It's wide open. Ooh, got to hold on to that one. Not as wide open as I originally had thought. Let's see if we can't get uh, Michael Bush in here. Get some big personnel up front. Got to make use of our new blocking at tight end. King to the outside. Decent blocking to the outside. Yeah, well, nice little five-yard gain. I guess they're going to call it a four-yard gain. It's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> See here, they're in their quarter package, it looks like. If I can recognize personnel. Sent in some pressure. That was a bad... All right. <laughs> nice play by Rhodes. Um, if I'm being straight up, I actually threw that to Antwine, and... Uh, Rhodes was just happened to be over the middle on that route, and he picked up the first down. So you're not going to hear me complain. Looking for Miller over the middle on the kind of a seam route. I don't know. I got some pressure. Just kind of scramble up the field for a few yards. Did, didn't like my options there, but uh, that's okay. Running with a quarterback can be very effective if the defense isn't expecting it. They were in good position. They got to him very quickly on that play. Four wide again. They're in their cycle package. I think that's what this uh, that thing's called. And we got a penalty. Holding to the outside. Don't need to hold to the outside there, Antoine. <clears throat> I did adjust some sliders this year, so hopefully we'll see a little bit more realistic uh, penalties uh, called on both sides because we did not get... A lot of penalties called on us, and there was not a lot of penalties called on their teams when we played them. Nice grab by Antoine. Let's go with some shotgun here. Just the normal. I like the normal look. Having our slot guy out and our tight end. Uh, I love having the tight end down the field for shotgun. And they got a tough defense, though, so far. For Randall out on the curl route. We go over the top to Antoine, put some faith in him, and he brings it down. What a grab by the rookie, rookie receiver coming up big in a, you know, a tough game here in Foxborough. Couldn't do that last year. I did not have faith with Porter to come down with those, and you know what? I like him here now. Try again over the top. He goes up for it. Touchdown, Anthony Antoine. Jamarcus Russell, the connection in Oakland, brings us seven points. Six points. Don't want to get ahead of myself. Six points, Oakland. Big time plays by the rookie receiver on that uh, on that drive right there. Came up with two big catches against a very tough cornerback in Asante Samuel. But that's why we got him. Another holding. Huh? <laughs> gotta turn holding down, maybe. I don't know. No reason to hold, guys. It's just the extra point. But hey, now we got like the actual extra point uh, that we see in 2020. They'll get set for the extra point. Hopefully I'm not too loud. I did adjust my microphone setup a little bit. Uh, I got a, a bit of a different setup. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm so glad that I was able to get him in. I, I was playing the All-Star game and the way he was showing up. Whew. He's going to be something special, I think. Now it's their turn to do something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early. But these guys have the kind of offense that can score. Go with the under concepts and Ty Johnson, our other first round rookie, here on a blitz off the edge. <clears throat> See if he can't uh, come up big as well. Nice grab by Randy Moss. Not sure what's going on here, Dane. Uh, <laughs> a, little, uh, a little sketch there. It all begins with the offensive line. 
because they're going to have to hold their blocks a little longer. Play some bump and run to the outside. Do that quite a bit in the playoffs. We've got Ben Watson. Oh, and Clark with the interception. He's going. And he's going to get tackled from behind. But a very nice interception by number 18, Clark, who can't remember the first name of him right now, if I'm being honest with you. But, man, what a pick. Big time play. Eric Clark, I believe he is also a rookie. 44, sorry. Not 14, as I originally might have said. Eric Clark, one of our rookies. That's two big-time plays by two rookies that we've got out of their draft class. So, Let's go back to the passing game here. Like Miller on this flat route, or maybe Rhodes on the swing. Rhodes on the swing, wide open. They sent some pressure on off the edge. We could not react in time, unfortunately. It's more four wide here. Def definitely going to be going uh, more spread uh, spread game this year. Got a lot of speed uh, at the receiver position uh, with Antoine, Randall, Allen, Higgins. We got a big guy in Floyd, and then uh, you know our running backs are, are good, but we don't have a great run blocking line. Looking, looking, looking. Higgins is a little bit behind the defense. We're going to go for oh, Antoine. He's got it again. Two touchdowns by the rookie here in Foxborough. Anthony Antoine showing up. Big time, two touchdowns in the first quarter against the defending Super Bowl champions. Let's go, Anthony Antoine. Oh, that's a special kind of performance here in one quarter. Comes in to attempt the point after. Russell was able to buy extra time, and we were able to find a hole in the zone downfield. Don't want to be presumptuous, but man, that was definitely what we were missing last year on offense. I'll tell you what, having a guy I'm confident in, because uh, I was not confident in Jerry Porter, let our team in drops. Ha having a guy like Antoine, highest catching rating on the team, someone I'm confident that can come up with these uh, these plays, nice pressure by Tyler Brayton and Ty Johnson to the outside. Um, man, that was, that was something that we sorely lacked last year. And boy, howdy, am I happy to have it. Coming in with the safety blitz, Michael Huff. Got Lawrence Maroney on the coverage with Ty Johnson here. And gets him from behind. Would have loved to have our defensive tackles. So maybe have a little bit more push up front. So that play goes for about six see here four wide thought they went play action but nice play by Kirk Morrison I actually guessed pass so luckily he was not able to break that and Morrison was able to get there stop him short of the first down so we're playing well so far wish we could have played like this in the playoffs but you know that was that was then this is now there's punts by whoever their punter is of course, we got Antoine Randall back there. Go back to the running game a little bit, you know. Stretch their defense over the top. Let's see if we can't uh, pull it back some, you know, get their safeties a little deeper and uh, break off some big runs here. Good blocking to the outside. Two and a half yards. Not that best run that I've ever seen in my life, but... One heck of a first half here in New England. Strong. Let's go back to our main man, Dominic Rhodes. Definitely going to see more of like a 50-30-20 50, 50, split, maybe 50-40-10 split with our running backs this year. I think Rhodes got a little bit ran, run down. Saw a hole to the outside, and then there one open up in the inside. Did not... Uh, not have anything great on that. Let's go with Hunter Corners here. Using the New Orleans playbook, which has a lot of great passing uh, options, for sure. No surprise. 
Uh, that was not a great throw. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I focused a little, a little bit um, too much on Antoine. Should have uh, read the defense. He was definitely not going to be open on that break. So it was, a, it was a mistake on my part. Luckily, he did not intercept the ball. So we're just going to punt the ball away. Almost got blocked. Heck of a punt by Shane Leckler. Clips the field on him. The guys who can respond and get this game Come out with again. some, you know, let's throw a little bit of zone in here, maybe. Like a zone blitz. Zip, shoot, gut. And Johnson's got the buzz, and then we got a couple linebackers and our alignment sticking in the coverage. Flipping the play. I don't think they're going to run the ball. No, they're not. Get out there, Asamoa. Oh, hey, he played, played it well. Let's see what they've got. Rips again. Matchup in personnel with Nickel. Let's come up with some pressure here. Go with uh, sending in all three of our linebackers on the blitz. Mm, let's do it. I I'm going to be risky. I'm going to be risky. This defense by 48. Who is... Sam Perry, another one of our rookies. So, hey, two of our rookies, you know, playing well in uh, coverage so far. Because we got Johnson on the line in this nickel package. Could have uh, Howard, but uh, I got him on other packages. So a little bit of pressure. Get out there. And we threw it behind the line of scrimmage, and unfortunately we could not stop him. So a little disappointing. Send in Clark and Eric Clark off the edge on a corner blitz. Would not be surprised to see a run to the right side here. That's exactly what I'm expecting. They got a counter play. Two broken tackles, man. Ty Johnson, you know, I picked you. You're, you're playing okay so far. But uh, you gotta you gotta bring down Lawrence Maroney uh, in the backfield. Or at least, you know, don't uh, don't let him break your tackle. So a couple missed tackles here early on in the game. But he's a rookie, you know, I'm not gonna Setback. With the throw. Yeah, nice, uh, you know, wrap by Stallworth. He had the appropriate coverage on, potentially, but unfortunately, he just sat. So it's a bit, you know, I don't know what else to do in those situations. It seems to be a common problem that is plaguing us right now. Well, we got good pressure with. Number 97, Jason Carter up the middle. And fortunately, it was another broken tackle by Lawrence Peroni. He's uh, eating our rookies alive, man. <laughs> rookies got to tackle a little bit better. Always do, of course. Somebody, please tackle Lawrence Peroni. Holy cow. It's four or five already in this game. Send in a heavy blitz. Engage eight. They got play action. Somebody get to him, please. Oh, come on. Schweiger, you got to pop Randy Moss. Draw that ball loose. Nice play. You know, three yards. I'm not going to complain. They only get three yards every play. I'll be fine with that. Double Ben Watson with the safety. I think, again, we're going to play some bump and run. Got to, got to do that a little bit more here on uh, this uh, this season. I, I like it. Decent tackle by Burgess in run support. And coming off with their four wide again. I, I'm not a huge fan of when they, they come out in this uh, this formation. I'm try pressing them again here. <laughs> and Clark gets two picks here in the first half. Eric Clark, man. Well, we moved on from Fabian Johnson and Eric Clark, guy we drafted to replace him. He is showing out here in the first game of his career. Two picks against Tom Brady on the road in Foxborough against the defending Super Bowl champions against one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Of course, I don't know if Tom Brady, I don't think he was considered one of the best quarterbacks of all time, you know, back in 2007, 2008, but he was certainly no slouch. He was definitely a fantastic player. 
Again, they're in a psycho package. Just going to run the ball here, I think. Got popped by number 59. Go for the full house here. See if we can't catch them off, off guard. <clears throat> Could always check down to a passing play and uh, get uh, Miller or Griffith out on the route. But they're uh, they're shifting a little bit over to the right side of the formation, so they should be able to get a few yards. And there we go, Dominic Rhodes. It's four or five yard gain. Let's go back to what's been working, which has been the deep passing game. Looks like Floyd is going to be wide, wide open. Maybe not. Uh, Antoine, they've got their strong safety down, so we're going to try to hit Antoine on the hot route. Ran by the defense. Get up there, Antoine. Ooh, couldn't haul that one in. But two out of three on those balls today. Uh, I'm not going to complain. I don't think he had perfect position, but that's just me. <clears throat> yeah. Just could not hold the block. Could not hold the block. Cooper Carlisle, one of our guys that we had, I believe. He knows how to play the game. Let's get uh, Michael Bush out of the backfield here. Of course, Rob Petiti is our left guard. We picked him up as a restricted free agent. But he is not on the right side. He was originally a right, right guard. Higgins to the outside. Ooh, oh, whoa, oh, man, what a grab by Antoine adjusting to the tip ball. Holy cow. What a play by what a player. This guy is something special, I tell you what. I'm going to send Higgins on a fly route here. Just send uh, Randall out on the out. Flat route to Zach Miller. It's an easy pitch and catch. Nine-yard gain. They did not have the appropriate coverage. We were able to identify and attack. Offense is running like a well-oiled machine so far. Could run again there right behind King, our blocking tight end. You know, set the edge a little bit better than uh, our guys. And he pancakes the guy. Way to go, King. I see you. I see you there, kid. Had no stats. <laughs> Definitely a lot better than our other tight end, who's still on the roster, but he's our third tight end. So two-minute warning. We're playing well here in New England. See if we can't break something outside on a, on a pitch with Michael Bennett out of the backfield. Well, I'm not a huge fan of the look, although we should have blocking set up. Eh, nothing's there. Bounce back to the inside a little bit. Let's go back to some four wide. Uh, look for Rhodes up the middle. I'm guessing they're going to be covering toward the outside, towards the sidelines. We, we, we have plenty of time here. Hoping he's going to run there. Rhodes, you know, breaks, breaks out, you know, six yard gain. He's able to follow Russell when he scrambled to the outside. See if Miller can get something open over the middle. Man, we're playing really well on third down here. I think that's a, a change in the playbook. I, I'm a little more confident, especially on receivers. Higgins to the outside. Not a great throw. Should have had him more towards the outside. Um, we're just going to punt. Our defense has played well enough. Yeah, I think that's what we got to do here. Um, try to pit him deep. Hopefully they can't get anything. They had the block on again, but they're not going to get home. Let's see if we can get it. Let's play by who else but Eric Clark? No, that was not Eric Clark. 48. Don't know who my gunner is, if I'm being honest. Sam Perry. How is that another one of our cornerbacks that we drafted? I think he's the guy that has like 97 speed. Super fast. I think he's our slot corner this year. Let's see if we can't... Uh, Push him back here and uh, maybe force him, you know, in the shadow of the goal line. Fullback dive. Definitely calling a timeout. They're going to just call uh, the, the fullback dives. You'll see me trying to force him back and maybe we get the ball back, you know, with like a minute, you know, 50 seconds or something. Johnson coming in off the outside here. Shift our line to the left. I'm expecting to run to the left. Hey, it's Johnson. You know, there you go. Nice, nice tackle from the backside pursuit. 
pinch the line here. Hopefully that we can uh, stop him to the outside with our receivers, should that be necessary. Of course, they could always pass the ball. Somebody please tackle him. And fourth down. So that was a whole a lot of nothing. Obviously not in field goal range. <laughs> See if Bing can't block this punt, man. Hmm, nothing there. That's a, a bit of a shank. Shank up Hotimus. So we are in primo field position to get some points before the end of the half. Hoping for a touchdown, obviously. Look for maybe Floyd on this. we got pressure on the edge. Floyd open over the middle. Nice grab down the center of the field. No reason to rush yet. Go with a smash corners. Don't want to leave him with too much time. Floyd had a big play here. Going to be looking for him in the corner of the end zone again. Break to the outside, Antoine. Nice grab. Touchdown, Anthony Antoine. Three touchdowns in the first half. Holy cow. Six receptions, 107 yards, three touchdowns as the rookie phenom continues to have one heck of an NFL debut. Holy cow. Man, I don't know if this game doesn't prove to you that sometimes ratings aren't all that matters. I don't know what does. Nice grab on Malcolm Floyd, though. Free agent pickup. Stole him from San Diego. He had a couple big games. I know he had at least one big game. I, I don't remember the first game, but I know the second the second game that he played. Uh, he had like 10 catches, 100 some odd yards. Oh. Interesting call here. They uh, they ran the ball three straight times on their last position, and now they're going five wide. I'm not really sure if I understand what they're doing here. But, you know, if they just want to throw it over the middle. They do have three timeouts. Schweigert is out. Hopefully that's just a stinger, but you never like to see that. Hopefully, hopefully he's fine. We've got Cooper as the backup. Uh, he's obviously not nearly the same player Schweigert was. I mean, Schweigert, Schweigert's okay. He, he did make the Pro Bowl last year, but I don't know if he was that great. But, you know. I think he's back to number 40. He's not. Uh, let's stick with a 3-3-5 here. Yeah, Cooper is only 74 overall, so that's about a 10-point drop. Hopefully it's not the biggest deal. We do have... You know, our cornerback to the outside there, um, Clark, he's been playing phenomenally. Ho oh, ho, big pop by Ty Johnson on Randy Moss. Jars the ball loose. What a big hit. Probably going to run here if I had to guess. Drop play. Nice play by Terdell Sands. So obviously they're not going to punt the ball away and be very smart. So, man, we are playing phenomenal defense so far. Uh, two biggest players right now. You got to say, obviously, Anthony Antoine. Three touchdown receptions in the first half. And, of course, we'll look at the stats here. But uh, even more so than that, you know, Eric Clark. Uh, two picks already. Man, uh, against Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champions. Like, holy cow. A couple of phenomenal rookie Debuts here. <clears throat> Again, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the game stats. Uh, we, we are outgaining them. We're, we're playing really well on third down. We haven't really had a whole lot of rushing yards so far, but uh, who, who needs to rush the ball when you're completing you know, 11 for 16 for 160 yards through the air? Uh, do want to make sure we're, we're you know getting that a little bit more uh, here in the second half, but it's not like we've had the ball a ton, and obviously we've had some short fields thanks to some interceptions take a look at the individual statistics russell playing a, a very good game brady is not <clears throat> maroney you know, he's had some decent runs uh yeah again we haven't really had much success on the ground hopefully we can you know find something here in the second half anthony antwine of course just uh a monster so far six catches 107 yards three touchdowns first half of the game like just ridiculous you know, debut. 
Uh, he's been, you know, my number one target, and I think that shows. I found him open, but you know, we got, you know, we've got to make sure we spread the ball around a little bit. But uh, I guess there's not really any reason to when uh, he's playing like that. Yeah, Eric Clark, two picks, of course. Um, we've had uh, just a couple TFLs, Thomas Howard and Terdell Sands. Um, so yeah, we'll hope to keep this up here in the second half. We are getting the ball back to start off. Higgins, first kick return of the year. Goes to the outside. Only about a 15-yard return, but we are up to the 24. All right, very good. Schweigert is back after just a, a stinger. They just got the wind knocked out of him or something. Starting off with a run here. Just could not hold the block, Zach Miller. Not fine, but... We did get our blocking tight end for a reason, but you can't always have two tight ends on the field, especially with the stable of receivers that we have. Some play action here. Off the back foot, drills Griffith in the face. So it looks like it started to rain here in the second half, so it's a bit interesting. But not overly surprising, given that we are in New England, in Boston, Massachusetts. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle. Sending in a blitz. And I did not see Colvin. He was he was there and uh I uh, yeah, I got eaten up by the pressure. <clears throat> Tried to hit Zach Miller on the safety route over the middle. Just a little, you know, simple crosser. Um tunnel vision on him. I, I you know not a great throw off the back foot. So maybe that's what they need to get back in the game. Let's hope our defense can uh, you know follow suit. They had a screen on. If he got it, maybe they would have uh, done something, but I was over there with Johnson, so maybe not. Somebody, please, go get Brady. <laughs> not sure why they're calling sprint, uh, sprint outs with uh, Tom Brady at the helm. But I guess I won't complain. Let's double the Y receiver, which is Randy Moss, with Michael Huff. Of course, the defensive player of the year in the NFL last year. I did not mean to be Kirk Morrison, and that was my guy. Fortunately, he got to the outside. I think he would have got it anyways. But there we see the turnover leading two points for the opposition. So, got to make sure we rectify that in the future. Yeah, that was, uh, that was my guy with uh, Kirk Morrison. Uh, I did not have time to react. I was trying to switch off of him. Maybe I should have just, you know, shifted over there and tried to play good, solid pass defense. But we did not, and we got burned. Hopefully that is not a sign of things to come, and we can step up and drive down the field, take some time off the clock, and score some points. Good blocking up the middle. One broken tackle out to the 34-yard line. Good kick return by Johnny Lee Higgins. Give us a um, cutback misdirection. They're a tough team to run against, of course. They've got a lot of good run stoppers, uh, both on the line and in the second level with their linebackers. Great block into the outside. Number 82. Who's that? Who's number 82? Antoine Randallel. That's a nice blocking there, guy. Nice blocking. Let's run right back that way with Dominic Rose. Go with a sweet play. Get uh, King to the outside. Our blocking tight end. See if he can't, uh, you know, get to the second level. Pancake a couple guys. Good blocking to the outside. And a broken tackle. Got about uh, six yards. See Bush, you know, get him in here. Change the pace. <clears throat> Oh, it's another run play. You know, it's it's working right now. Can't get married to it, though. We'll try it. Probably get a few yards here. Bounces it to the outside. And it's a fumble by Michael Bush. It's not good. Come on, get there, Russell. And it's going to be a face mask. That's back-to-back -back turnovers on back-to-back -back offensive drives. The fix is in, folks. To show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, you'll find as much I'm obviously kidding. That was a, one of his struggles last year. He had a couple fumbles. I did try to break the tackle. Maybe I should have just held on to the ball. 
That is no good. Ty Johnson, nice, uh, nice play to shake off the block. It's a tackle. He did get six yards on the play, however. Send in Kirk Morrison on the run blitz up the middle. Oh, and Ty Johnson forces the fumble. He picks it up. And there's a, another rookie in the game. Oh, wow. That's, you know, just rookies all over today. Causing havoc both sides of the ball. Let's go some play action. Looks like they got their linebacker over the middle. We're just going to check down to a quick pass. See if we can get something to the outside. Sent to the blitz. Antoine wide open. Nice little nine-yard grab. <clears throat> Love to get Bennett to the outside on uh, on a pitch or a counter or something. That's what we're trying to do here. I like the I like the look. Nice blocking to the outside. Bennett breaking upfield, spins back. Yeah. Nice little ten yard run. A little scamper there. Five wide. See if we can't confuse the defense a little bit. They're in their psycho package, and I. I I did, I did throw an interception last time they came out, so we just got to make sure that we're looking at either Floyd or Randall L. Those are my hot guys here. Floyd to the outside. Just uh, let him a little bit too far. He was going to be open on the break. Fortunately, uh, not the best throw. But it kind of is what it is, I guess, right? With the draw play here. Nice blocking up front. That's sort of five-yard game. Dominic Rhodes. <clears throat> see if there's a strong overload I like to look here. For probably Higgins on the break, they are in a 43, it looks like, almost. Scramble out. Antoine gets upfield, but Russell, we had a lot of open space. They were sitting in a zone, which is not usually... Or no, I think that was man. Uh, which is not usually great whenever the quarterback starts to break it off. And, you know, Russell is a pretty quick guy. Especially for his size. We've got a interesting package. We can send Higgins on the out route. If uh, they're playing man, Randall will bring his guy, and Higgins should be wide open. Indeed he is. I think he was in zone, actually, but uh, they had nobody up close to the line of scrimmage, so Higgins was able to get open with uh, relative ease on that play. Let's get the ball back to our main guy, Dominic Rhodes. He's having a good, having a good series, uh, both running and passing on this, uh, this drive here. Off tackle. It's not much of a hole. Luckily, we were able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Set up for a third and four. With a boot slide here. Look for Zach Miller running towards the sideline. Maybe Griffith in the flat. You never know. Griffith is open, but Antoine's wide open as well. <laughs> and he grabs it again. Let's see if we can't uh, catch him deep. Let's go with a tight end middle. See if either Randall or Antoine can run past their man. See if we can't catch him over the top. Hope to go up another seven points. Uh, did not mean to throw that. Meant to throw it to Bush, but luckily Higgins was able to react. That was a bad and a dangerous throw. We were not burned, but we cannot do that in the future. That's what we got in trouble doing in the Colts loss in the playoffs last year. Should have a blitz on, which is kind of interesting. Let's see if Higgins goes to the outside. Antoine's out on this play, probably uh, just tired. Let's send the corner blitz. Miller wide open. Pitch and catch. Nice little first down. Run it up the gut. Nice little four-yard gain. Dominic Rhodes. There's more play action here. Everything's working on this drive. I, you'd love to see that. Could check down to a run. I think I'm going to do that. I like the, the look here. Oh, yeah. Huge hole. Dominic Rhodes takes it upfield. Ten yards. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. What makes him a special runner is the ability to avoid... Two for two in the red zone so far this year. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. And their cycle package is very odd. We got, we got our power back in, our goal line back, Bush. Going to run it behind our two tight ends and fullback. And that's why you don't do that, Patriots. Touchdown, Michael Bush. We're up three scores here in Foxborough. That's a one heck of a drive. That was like, what, eight minutes or something? That was a, that was a crazy drive. I'm, I want to see the uh, the drive recap because we were, you know, we had a, a, some good runs, some four or five yarders. Even had a, a couple of uh, bigger ones and had some big pass plays as well. Type of uh, championship drives right there. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, ten yards, eight yards, five yards, ten yards. It was like almost seven minutes, six and a half, I think is what it was. One heck of a drive here. Definitely going to have to come out throwing the ball, I would assume, here in the second half. Um, this is their second possession. Obviously, they don't have a lot of time, so they're going to have to start playing a little bit faster and try to stretch the ball or stretch the field uh, a little bit more. Bit of an interesting play call. Again, you know, they can't go away from the pass yet, but you would think maybe they would they would start to uh, throw the ball a little bit more here, uh, even if Brady has not had the best game uh, to wit. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, Clark, forces the fumble. Do we get it? I don't think it was inbounds. No. But, man, that, that would if we would have got that, that would have been three forced turnovers by Eric Clark, our third round cornerback? Question mark? I don't remember where I drafted him. Somebody is busting coverage. Not sure who that guy or who was supposed to be on that guy. It was a big bust in coverage, though. Not uh, not really sure who's supposed to have him. It's okay. It's okay. No reason for us to let that get us down. And it's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're up big here in New England. It's going to stick in some probably basic coverages, um, cover threes, you know, some two man under, stuff like that. No reason to get anything fancy with it. Somebody please have uh, their fullback out of the backfield. Please? Somebody? It's not my guy. I had the tight end. Unless it switched me off, which it could have been. It could have been my fault. I don't really know. Not used to playing linebacker. Of course, used to playing safety for the most part. Huff with the tackle over the middle. Just play some press to the outside. Second eight inches. Oh, and Ty Johnson gives right in Tom Brady's face, forces the incompletion. I love to see it. Big time rookie making big time plays. Although he's probably been like the third or fourth most impressive rookie in the game, which is saying something considering he's played you know, fairly well. And <laughs> he picks it off at the line of scrimmage. Holy cow, we got some diaper dandies on this team, as Dickie V would say over in the college basketball game. Boy, howdy. What a draft class it's looking like here early on in the season. Get off me, Zach Miller says. <laughs> and he's up. And we even got a rough in the passer. Probably uh, breathed on the quarterback. And you know how much the the NFL does not like whenever you breathe on the quarterback. Sante Samuel goes down. It's a little unfortunate for them. Hopefully he's okay. Just a hand injury. So we're going to hope that uh, he's not out for an extended period of time. Never like to see injuries, of course. Show some confidence in Michael Bush. Did fumble, obviously, earlier in the game, but can't go away from him. 
And somebody missed the block. Is that Robert Gallery on the left guard? No, that's Rob, Rob Petiti. So maybe that's why the Saints were willing to let him go for a six-round pick. I don't really know. That's exactly what they did. Shifting their line. I like the run play here. We tried to bounce it a little bit to the outside. Maybe go between the guard and tackle. And, you know, two and a half yards. <clears throat> See if we can't catch him uh, out on the post route on the play action with Antoine over the middle. Wouldn't be surprising given the way that he's played so far today. Not the best throw, but he grabs it anyway in traffic. Holy cow. He is unbelievably good. I don't know if it's like the agility, if it's the catching, if it's a combination of both. But, man, that's uh, he's played just absolutely incredible football here today. Our whole team has, to be honest. With their goal line defense in, I'm putting in Michael Bennett. See if we can't get him to the outside, run to the, the pylon. Ooh, fortunately, you know, he just could not hold on to the block long enough. That's fine. You know, Antoine Randall, he had a good block earlier in the game. Uh, I'm not going to chastise him too much. Let's get uh, Michael Bush in here on the, the big goal line back. We're still on goal line, so I don't really like this play. Nice Check down to so play action. For the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Looking for King. Looking for room. They'll go with a play fake. He's wide open. Corner of the end zone. Gets both feet in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Jeff King. Heck of a grab. Probably should have bulleted in there, but he was able to uh, haul it in. Fourth touchdown of the game for Jamarcus Russell. Passing offense is working with great aplomb here in the season opener against a very tough conference opponent. The extra point attempt is good. The Raiders continue to increase their lead. Sebastian Janikowski in to kick this one off. This game is pretty much out of reach at this point. Maybe we can... Uh, Mm, maybe not this game, but you know, future games. I, I don't really want to, you know, pull any starters. Uh, really, not, not pull any starters, but you know, get get our backups in there. It, not in the not in the opening game of the season. Um, maybe if we get some some stuff like this, we can put in our uh, our rookie quarterback, our, our development guy, the six foot seven Hoss. Uh, his name I can't remember at the at the moment. Big run by Lawrence. Uh, Dwayne Blackman. Bit of an interesting play call going with the run, but. I guess they, they, they kind of know at this point this is uh, this game is pretty much out of reach. Um, so it's, you know, it is what it is. Good Throws, it Throws it in the ground. And here come the Boo Birds. So it's second and ten. All on the 37 yard line. Out of the gun. <laughs> oh, Asma could not haul it in. Almost got the interception, but that's a touchdown, Randy Moss. First big play, really, that we've given up this game, I think. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. Just, uh, just kind of ran by Asma. Obviously, that is Randy Moss's uh, best trait. You know, his uh, his deep vertical, his vertical speed, deep threat. And they get the touchdown. I don't think they're going for the onside. Nah, it doesn't look like it. So, again, we could think about, you know, putting in our developmental guy. But, again, it's the first game of the season. You know, if we, if we find ourselves in this situation in, in some future games, I think we'll do it. But uh, right now, I don't really want to do that. And there's another holding. At least there's been, you know, a decent number of penalties this game. It's a little bit more realistic, which, you know, that's that's kind of what you're expecting to see in an NFL game. Can't uh, can't really realistically say that, oh, yeah, our team's so disciplined that we only get, like, a quarter of the, the next lowest team in the league, so. <laughs> it's a little three-yard in the cloud on that play. Try some misdirection here. Danny, 
The Patriots come out in a nickel pack. A little misdirection. Rabel. Interesting play. play. Got two yards. I say 36. Might as well go with a pass here. See if we can't uh, pick up a first down. Keep our stellar third down. Yeah, 10 for 13 in the game. Holy cow. That is nuts. Antoine again. Couldn't break the tackle. Couldn't get the first down. Just a, a nice little four-yard out route. <clears throat> That's okay. Can't say he's been anything but the player of the game so far today. Even more so considering he's playing against Asante Samuel. Now, Samuel's not the best, like, man coverage corner in the league, or at least he wasn't in real life. He's, he's more of a zone-centric guy, but still, he is pretty good, you, you would have to say. <clears throat> of course, he's obviously been out, but, you know, uh, most of the damage that uh, we did with uh, Antoine was in the first half when, when uh, Samuel was in. What they really need to do is put the ball in the air. The See if he can get some more pressure up the middle with Carter here, our rookie. <laughs> he got shoved off the line by uh, Dan Coppin, their, their center, longtime center for the Patriots. Nothing over your head. Yeah, I, I like it. I like a defense. A little bit of a coverage bust by 28 that time. Uh, you know, it was just a good route, uh, I would say, more so than anything else. Um, who is that? I'm trying to figure out who that is. I don't actually remember who that is. Sam Perry? Maybe it was uh, Lenny Wall or something. Got to give credit where credit's due, but... Uh, I think that was Lenny Walls. I think it might have been 28, actually. No, no, no. 29, our backup strong safety, Darnell Bing. It's our uh, worst defensive back. Oh, actually, that's not, that's not even true. We got two uh, two cornerbacks that are actually worth it. Hey, there we go. Burgess, I think Isaac's here. Our first sack of the game. Of course, last year, I think we were last in the league in sacks. But we are first in interceptions, so I'll take that. Come on, Carter. Get some pressure in there, kid. Oh, big hit by Kirk Morrison. Says, you know what, bud? Have some of this. Obviously, they're going for it. Fourth and down. No reason not to. Fourth and down. Fourth and five. No real reason not to go for it for them. Not that they're going to get it, I don't think. Of course, they did. As soon as I said that. But again, I'm not super concerned right now. Tackle him, please. All right, we tackle him in bounds. All right, driving. We're not playing the, the most, we're not playing the tightest defense. We're probably just kind of playing like a soft coverage scheme. I mean, we are in, in two man under, so. Thomas Howard with the interception. Going on the sideline. He's up to the 14-yard line. I think that's four or five interceptions by our defense. Again, you know, that's what we did last year. I will uh, take that to the house every time we can do it. Doesn't look like they're calling timeouts, so, you know, fair play to him. I'll just uh, kneel the ball down a few times and get out of here with a solid... 21-point victory over New England. Tom Brady, defending Super Bowl champs. You know, all the superlatives you can throw out against them. Um, our team showed up in spades today. Um, our rookies played just phenomenally. Anthony Antwine, player of the game on offense. Uh, what's the gentleman's name? Eric Clark, player of the game on defense. Uh, Antwine had three touchdowns and, you know, 100 yards. Strong play there. I think that should take us. That should take us to the end here. Um, yeah, Antoine, three touchdowns, like 150 yards or something. We'll, we'll check the stat sheet uh, at the end of the game. Clark with the two interceptions and the forced fumble. Of course, we didn't recover that one. Our guy was standing on the bounds and picked it up. But still, 
Anytime you can get two interceptions against Tom Brady, you'll, you'll take that. Johnson had the pick when he was actually on the line. He, he jumped up, um, you know, uh, kind of a low throw over the middle and was able to pick it off. I was controlling him, but I did not do that. I was trying to get pressure on him. So <laughs> our guys are, you know, doing something special here. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Oakland 35, New England 14. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the express written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Tonight. So we'll take a look at the game stats here. Uh, roughly even in terms of overall, overall yardage, but uh, again, you know, turnover is really key, and we had just nuts. So third down uh, conversion percentage, 10 for 14 in the game. At one point, I think we were like eight for nine, maybe or something. We kind of we didn't play as, as fast in the second uh, second half, that's for sure. And we scored every quarter, including a touchdown, and on in all all of those quarters, didn't settle for any field goals. So you love to see that. Neither team had much success rushing the ball. Uh, we definitely had a lot better. Uh, time passing the ball, they had more yards than us, um, but you know a lot of that was towards the second half of the game when they, you know, we shut them out in the first half. And four picks by the team, nothing crazy on special teams. We dominated time of possession again, attributed that to the five turnovers that they had. Russell played well. It's one of his better games of his career, uh, to be honest, especially against such a, a tough defense in the New England uh, Patriots. Again, Brady played. Pretty poorly in the first half. Uh, I think he had three interceptions. So he did get two touchdowns, but, you know, a lot of that was uh, call it garbage time stats. So I'm not too concerned with our pass defense. Rhodes picked it up in the second half. Um, Bennett had a couple, uh, like a nice run here or there. we got to get our rush game going. But, you know, it was, this was going to be tough no matter what. They have a, a fantastic front seven uh, that really can shut down rushing games. Anthony Antoine, you there, uh, outstanding player today. Uh, 10 receptions, 150 yards, three touchdowns, like I said. Key for me, no drops. You got that 90 catching. He's got the highest catching on the team, which I love. Randy Moss, um, that stat line is kind of buoyed by that long 63-yard touchdown that he had. Uh, you know, they had some other guys, but we had, you know, we spread the ball around a little bit. Miller and Higgins both had three catches. Um, and then we had a couple other, uh, you know, catches here and there. But Antoine, man, he was, he was getting open, and I was looking for him, and he was there. To bail me out, both teams had a sack. Burgess had one. Ryan Harrison had five big hits. Holy cow! Yeah, Eric Clark again. Those those two interceptions in the first half, and then Ty Johnson with the interception and Thomas Howard towards the end. That one didn't matter so much, but you'll have to see it. You, you never like to give up points if if you can avoid it. And a few pass deflections here and there by their team. Okay, good Samuel for them is not. Uh, he's he's not out for very long. So, and uh, yeah. Uh, Johnson had a forced fumble. I don't really remember that. When did that happen? Oh, yeah, that's right. He forced a fumble, and he picked it up. I, I totally forgot about that. I can't believe it. Forced a fumble on uh, Maroney and then picked up, pick up the, uh, the the fumble <laughs> himself. And Clark forced that one that went out of bounds. Didn't really need to do much in a kicking and punting game. Neither team, really. So, yeah, that was a fantastic first win. Let's take a look at, uh, you know, if our opponent won their... Actually, let's, let's take a look. I'll try to remember doing this. So let's take a look at the players of the week. See if anybody on our team got anything. <clears throat> NFL, uh, Myron Wembley and uh, Ronnie Brown, players of the week. Same with AFC, obviously. And NFC, Julius Jones and Anthony Pierce. I think that's who those uh, who those guys are. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game. Next week, we have the Colts again in the matchup where we went down in the playoffs. So we will hope to win that one. Um, but yeah, uh, just a fantastic start for us. I'm excited for this year. See what we can do. See if we can't uh, you know, go a little farther in the playoffs. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd appreciate it. You know, if you want to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It would be awesome. Uh, let me know if you guys let me know how you guys think this season is going to progress. If we can match our success from last year, um, if we can go a little bit further, maybe uh, you know who knows remains to be seen. Got some got some big time rookies here, so that's uh, something I'm excited about. But until then, we will see you all in the next video. See ya.